Hi, I'm Jordan Webb. I'm Ryan Swartzen. And today we're going through a desert survival situation. Okay, so it's approximately 10 a.m. in mid-August and you have just landed in the Sonora Desert in the southwestern United States. The light twin engine plane containing the bodies of the pilot and co-pilot has completely burned. Only the airplane frame remains. None of none of the rest of you have been injured. The pilot was able to notify anyone of your was unable, sorry, to notify anyone of your position before the crash. However, he had indicated before the impact that you were 70 miles south uh, southwest from a mining camp which is the nearest known habitation and that you were approximately 65 miles off the course that was filed in your VFR flight plan. Um, the immediate area is quite flat and rather barren, except for an occasional barrel and cigarro? Cigarro? Yeah. Cacti. The last weather report indicated that the temperature would reach 100 degree, 110 degrees that day, which means that the temperature at ground level will be 130 degrees. You are dressed in lightweight clothing, short sleeves, um, pants, pants, socks, and street shoes. Everyone has a handkerchief. Okay, the task. Before the plane caught fire, your group was able to salvage 15 items listed on the following sheet. Your task is to read the, rank these items according to their importance to your survival, starting with the one, the most important, to 15, the least important. You may assume that the number of survivors is the same as the number in your group, so two. You are the actual people in the situation, and all of the items are in good condition. All right, so here's the ranking sheet. Um, we can just go ahead and read through part of this. Um, flashlight, four battery size, folding knife, sectional, air map of the area, plastic raincoat, large, magnetic compass, first aid kit, uh, 44 caliber pistol, loaded, parachute, red and white, bottle of a thousand salt tablets, one quarter, one quart of water per person, book, edible animals of the desert, a pair of sunglasses per person, two quarts of 80 proof vodka, mm -hmm. one top coat per person, and one cosmetic mirror. And I know that there's like, well, we're going to look at the solutions, but I know that there's like a specific way to do this. Um, And it's always like an interesting like stuff that I wouldn't have guessed but for me personally I am not a survivalist I would give up I don't think I would try <laughs> very hard to survive in any <laughs> survivalist moment so Ryan has more of the upper hand and the more of the experience with um just the outdoors in general so I might be following him a lot <laughs> for the team rankings yeah, fair, fair enough. Um, okay. okay. And then do I do, like, my ranking? So, so I guess... I was I did... confused by that. Yeah, here, let me, like... Let me pull up my own copy, and then that I'm way we add can... add a column to the right. There we go. I want to say Jordan's ranking. Jordan's ranking. Ryan's ranking just so we can have them on the same thing right so um, how do you want to handle this do you want to um do go through the entire list and you know list you know um you know number one you find that one and then you go number two three four etc rather than just going down the list or vice versa um, I would probably want to do, like, I guess, like, go through it and rank it, like, um, according to that, usually. Like, that's what I would do is, like, instead of, like, judging it, like, this, 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 I would 
go like okay which one's one which one's two you know that's what i that, usually do but that's yeah, what i was leaning easy. towards okay cool okay so now we got it all on there cool so now we have all right. that and then so, um okay okay so, do you okay maybe i go i guess maybe i go first because we might go off of yours more for the team <laughs> fair enough i don't know so you could just watch me do this part i guess yeah i've got my own li lists that i'm making now so i okay. can do that while you do yours okay because i was like i haven't done that yet okay we're like so far away um i feel like this would be like 15 so i'm not probably gonna like be eaten animals i don't know <laughs> mm, the vodka i think you could use Um, flash nine folding knife. So I would actually say, I mean, I think a gun is also useful. Okay, doing one quart of water, then I'm gonna do the air map folding knife. Um, I think this one maybe because I don't know what we'll, we'll discuss. Um, oh wait, you kind of need. I'm trying to make sure I counted correctly. I don't know. What, sorry. Oops. Um, where's a two? I literally one. Hold on, I messed it up. <laughs> You're good. And one. I guess two and then I'll do how can I do okay six is repeated okay um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. And then Ryan, just tell me your numbers top to bottom real quick. Okay. So um like start of the flashlight? Yeah, just like down, I guess. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
So I ranked flashlight as number 13, then 7, 12, 11, 7, 3. Hold on. You said oh, that the sorry. ranked was 7. Yes. Oh, wait, no. Um, uh... Here, sorry. Oh, I did, did I I... Do wait, it. hold on. I messed, my... I messed up. Sorry. I can do it like 1 to 15. Sorry. What was your first one? Uh, it was 13. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I, I messed it up. I double counted somewhere. Let me just redo, recheck that. No, record. it's okay. Because I can also do it just in the order that you ranked them in. If that's how you wrote it down. Because. So we can do like what you said one and then find the one that you put two, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. So I would Okay. So I guess number one on your rank. Number one on my rank would be the uh the quarter of water. Quarter of water. Okay. Um and then I would do the um where is it? The parachute as number two. Parachute is two. First aid kit is number three. Okay. Um, and then I would do the um first aid kit as number four. Oh wait, no. Did I already say the first aid kit? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I would do the uh, vodka as number four. So you would do the, um, sorry, let me close my door. Okay. My bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, cord of water. Two, parachute. Three, first aid kit. Four. Yeah. The vodka. Four is the vodka. Five. Uh, let me get back to my list. Uh, five would be uh, the uh, pistol. Oh my gosh, same number. Okay. <laughs> uh, six. Six would be the uh, salt tablets. Six is the salt. Seven. Seven. Um, I would probably do the knife. Eight. Probably the desert uh, food book. Okay. And then for nine? Probably the flashlight. Okay. Ten. The mirror. Eleven. The top coat. Twelve. Try sunglasses. All right. 13, 14, 15. Which ones? Um, 13, I'm probably going the um, sectional air map. 13. What else do I have left on that list of yours? Magnetic compass or the plastic raincoat? Um, I would do the compass as 14 and then Rainco is 15. Okay. Cool. All right. So we've got all of our answers. Um, We can go through them and we'll like start with our top ones, right? Yeah. So we both agree that water is the number one thing, which will probably somehow be the wrong answer. Sorry. It always like is. Or <laughs> do you see? Okay. In all reality, I don't think we'll be wrong on that one. I hope so. Not if this, not if the person who made the survival guide is smart. <laughs> okay. So you put the parachute as number two. I thought that it would just be good, like, for signaling. Why do you think that you would rank it higher than my seven, I guess? So the number one rule for uh, survival is first find water, and then the next is find shelter. 
Um, and so the plain hull is all burned away and empty. So you use a parachute to build a shaded area on the hull of the plane. Okay. That was very convincing. I do agree with that. <laughs> I That is the genuine second rule of survival. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, oh, you could use it as a signal for, I don't know. <laughs> Which, in all reality, it could double up as then, because if it's red and white, that's going to stand out from the desert floor, so it'll be easier to spot. Okay. And then I put the magnetic compass as, like, higher up, because... I don't even know. Oh, well, I said, like, just to kind of find out, like, which way's north, south, east, and west, kind of. Right. And then, uh, um, and then I put like, so I put like that one, well, the map and then that one. Um, but like, tell me about your thought process from like your number three being the first aid kit and then number four being the vodka. So the reason I put the uh, first, first aid kit above the um, uh, map and uh, the uh, compass was largely because you're not likely going to be traveling across the desert to get to this mining camp um in all reality um you're supposed to stay stay put where where you crashed um okay. and so i mean sure the compass would be great for figuring out you know what direction is north and all that um mm -hmm. But it is not strictly essential because you're not going to be using it as much in the early days if, mm. you know, you're out there for, you know, a few days, your water's gone, um, then you might be having more trouble at that point. But um, I wouldn't put it as strictly essential. And that kind of logic goes for the uh, map as well, because okay. you can know, even if you know where you are, if you're not going to be traveling, there's not a whole lot of use for it. For those. Okay. That is... That is good to know. I didn't think of it like that, honestly. That is a very logical way to think of it. Um, and then for the vodka, it is actually a um, uh, it can be used as cleaning alcohol, essentially uh, a disinfectant. So you that'll be very important because and uh, if the dehydration doesn't get you, um, it'll be infection that does. Okay. And so. Yeah, that's more important than I would even argue the gun. Okay. I'm trying to think of how to, like, make it so that I'm not just saying just all. Okay. Okay. Hear, hear me out on okay. this part, though. Fair enough. A pair of sunglasses per person. I know that that sounds dumb. But when it's, like, so bright and then you get, like, reflection off of the sand... And everything, like, yes, I know that, like, like it's kind of like the first aid kit and then the stuff like that and the vodka to me because I think about, like, your eyes, like, like your eyes can burn. They can get severely damaged, like, from that. So that's why I just thought that I would rank them, like, kind of up there, like, maybe not, maybe not, like, I guess, like, in the vital things and then well and I kind of assumed in regard to like the vodka you know is like I do realize that you can use that to clean with I was like hoping that the first aid kit would hopefully like have some sort of cleaning things um even when they do it there's not a whole lot of them okay Okay, so let's try to. See. I I do I do see a solid argument going for the uh, sunglasses. Um, okay, so I would I would put it in like the top seven. Top seven, okay. G given that argument. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll do seven then. All right, so for the folding knife, then do we want to do that as like six then? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's up there. Okay. I mean, I think that you could just use that to, like, like I don't know, like a gun is helpful. Well, well it, I'm 40 actually, caliber. Yeah. I'm actually it, questioning the gun now. 
especially if you're not trying to like go in I mean I'd probably use it to like end it for myself but that's just because I don't think I could survive <laughs> but that's not the point of the thing that's not a point of the thing sorry <laughs> Jordan's depressed day one <laughs> I know I'm like I'm done <laughs> right away <laughs> um okay, the so only you, there are two big arguments i see with putting the uh, pistol in the top uh oh. ones is largely because it can be used for protection and for hunting um as especially now if it's the desert there's not as good of a chance for a larger game um you might have coyotes and things like that um 40 caliber 45 caliber and that's a fairly powerful weapon, so you're not going to be hunting rabbits with that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I would put that one as, like, eight. Eight. Yeah, and I think that, like, I do think that that might be helpful for hunting, just, like, if you don't have energy to, like, run after something. But I do think, like, with a lot of desert animals, you know, like, if you're, like, especially at the night when, like, more come out because it's, like, cooler... If you, like, fire that gun, like, a lot of stuff is going to just hide, you know? Like, right. Fast. Yeah, the one it, it, it is a little grisly, but the only reasonable way I could see you attracting fairly large game is by using the uh, bodies of the pilot and the co-pilot as bait, putting them out in the desert, and then attracting coyotes. And then once the pack has discovered it, you let loose with the pistol. That's the only logical oh, way I can okay. see Again, it's a little little dark, but effective. <laughs> that is effective, though. Okay, so we have the mirror as 9 and 10. Your 9 was the flashlight. Okay, so do we want to do the flashlight as 9, then? Let's go with that. Okay, and then do we want to do the mirror as 10 or the top coat as 10? I would do the mirror as 10 uh, simply for the argument of the only reasonable thing to be using for it, uh, using it for is um, signaling during the day. So like if you see a plane, you're trying to reflect it, get, catch the eye of the pilot. Um, outside of that, I'm not seeing a whole lot of use for it. Yeah. So I'm trying to think, do you think that that's more... Okay, but what about your okay your bottles? Of... Oh, I forgot about the about the yeah, bottles me... of salt. What do you think about that? Let's put those at five because we already got rid of that. Okay. Yeah, um, no that that'll be so very important. Why is it important? So, uh, when you're out in the desert, um, or let me let me rephrase that: if you're stranded out uh, somewhere where there is a lot of uh, exposure to sun. Uh, your body starts to sweat and uh, try to keep your body cool. Mm -hmm. And the salts that you lose through your sweat um, will leave you dehydrated and um, um, uh, vulnerable to uh, the sicknesses and whatnot that come along with uh, dehydration. So if you, I don't remember exactly how many you need to take a day, but uh, you need to keep your body salts up so that you're... Um, not using um you're, you're not losing all those vital um nutrients and whatnot um it, it feels counterintuitive to fill your body with salt when you're yeah. needing water but it, it it works trust me dang i had no idea all right i trust you i do <laughs> one two okay wait that, that's why they put it in gatorade essentially that's the biggest oh, okay so wait, what did we want to put for a three? So we got we water, don't have three yet. Parachute. We didn't put a three down. Ooh. There's like you put the first aid kit. I can agree with the first aid kit that it should be up there more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, especially because like you can use like if you're not injured per se, like you can use that for a lot of different things depending on the items that are in there so based on your assumption that like we aren't going to be going anywhere right uh -huh. then i would say that maybe the air map should be like 15 like if we're not going to use it at all right or, like maybe a magnetic compass the only thing i can think of the compass like being useful besides i guess direction like in general is like to maybe just find like i don't know 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there is an argument to be made for going somewhere. I will grant that. Um, if the, if I want to say it's like 60 miles to the nearest place or 75 miles. Yeah. So uh, we're 60, uh, we're 70 miles from a mining camp, which is the closest one. And then we're 65 miles off our course. So like, that's how far we are off from like our course. Like, so, I mean, that is kind of a big amount so basically we would have to travel like five miles further than the like mileage from like our um course like right right yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, I... given that information i probably would just stay put as the best option okay so i'm gonna do um okay so for the air map so which one do you think is least important? The magnetic compass, the plastic raincoat, or the air map? Like the magnetic compass would be, be, be if now let, let me rephrase that. If there is someone in your group who is experienced with survival or at least knows some of the basics, the I mean, compa you, compass would be absolutely useless. Um okay. it, but if there's no one in your group who has experience with that kind of stuff, I would put it probably around a 10 ish okay i think our idea is that like it's you and i like you, you and me together yeah okay then i like, would put it 15 the number of survivors and then it says you are the actual people in the situation so. oh okay yeah yeah number 15 okay. all the way and then maybe classic raincoats I don't so know. do we have um so below 14 what's the highest we've gone 10 so we've got one two three we didn't make a fourth ranking all right let me look at the list one more time looking at yours you put the vodka as four. Oh, okay i can agree on the vodka with like the safety part of it though so then and we got then... five and then we have six up here with the folding knife Seven, Seven is the sunglasses. Eight is the gun. Nine is the flashlight. Ten is the mirror. Eleven is the top coat. So I would put the I, I would change eleven to the book of edible edible animals. Really? Okay. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, if I would there actually, were... Do you think that that's more important than the cosmetic mirror? Maybe. That's true. I, I'm trying to reevaluate the list a little bit. Oh my god. Uh, I cannot. Sorry. I'm not gonna like upgrade my zooms. No, 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 uh, no. Uh, from the 10 11 standpoint, uh, I'm just trying to decide which one's more important. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, 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 no. One. It's okay. It's just we have nine minutes left on this recording. Oh, shoot. What I can uh, do is that we can like do another one. Gotcha. I'm not gonna uh, purchase Zoom. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for the premium, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I would do um ten as the book, eleven cosmetic mirror, um, and then twelve as the top coat, and that leaves thirteen for thirteen and fourteen. So I would say maybe fourteen would probably be in the map. 14 and then 13 the raincoat yep okay we've got our answers so i'm I'm confused on the uh scoring th system because they're all going to add up to be the yeah, same yeah i don't think that that's relevant here i i don't know maybe we were supposed to say oh maybe we're supposed to say how many we got right i guess like compared no because we say our errors Right. Okay. So, do you want to save this and then uh, open the, uh, another Zoom account so we can jump on the second part of it? Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like. I guess when we have the time, so we're gonna go through and list the answers. So then, Jordan's error. So I'm assuming that it's probably. Let me look at the answers real quick, because. I was going to say, if you wanted, I could pull up the 
answers and then read them off. Yeah. Survival. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it does say like why and everything. Right. Okay. okay. So I think that that can work. And we'll just go and we'll read it together in the next um in the next video. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ending it now, I'll send you a new one. Sounds good.